sound. Here we are in the uh, fast speed, which is known as tremolo. I'm going to click this uh, foot switch that I have here. So in high speed, low speed, and in proper terms it should be choral and tremolo. And then I also have a standby, which will stop the rotation altogether. So right now, there's your fast speed. Let's move down to slow speed. See, it has a real nice decay. Here's standby, which would be stop. Go back into coral. Let's go into high speed. Uh, let's take a closer look at it. It's um, completely silent, which is very nice. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get to that point. Oh, before I move the camera too close, what you're looking at is the uh, orange amplifier sitting on the top. And I'll just set it over here to the side for the moment. So if you got your standard orange amp and it just sits down into the top of this wooden box which I've built and there you can see the uh, the rotor moving in slow speed here is your standby or it being stop back to slow and you go into fast you can see how it ramps up it's still gaining speed now I set the speeds um, to match the original Leslie, or get as close as possible. Um, the original Leslie, your slow speed, your choral speed, is about 45 RPM. And the high one is about 340 or 350 RPM. And what I wanted to try to do on this was to use, I'm going to go ahead and stop it a stepper motor from an old 3D printer as the drive and then to control the stepper motor I have if we can get enough light in there for you to see everything over in here a TMC 2208 driver and a 555 timer chip so the, this whole thing the with the, using the stepper motor and the driver and the 555 and the wood if you had to buy everything, as long as you got a 3D printer, it probably cost you about 50 bucks to build this, which is pretty cheap. Here's a more close-up of the box. See if it's in standby. Here we are going to slow mode. Then click up into high mode. And you can go into a standby from, from high mode too. And everything slows down in a nice controlled ramp. And when you go to resume where you were, it'll ramp back up again. Uh, the ramping is not only important to uh, make it look and sound like a real Leslie, because it is a real Leslie, but it's also important to the stepper motors. Stepper motors uh, cannot jump from one speed to the maximum high speed. They'll go into a cogging mode, and the motor will just sit there and buzz, and it won't regain um, momentum on its own. Stepper motors also have more um, power at lower RPMs. They uh, have less power at higher RPMs so it has a lot to do with the uh, belt drive system that I put in here and how I made everything silent so that you don't hear the stepper motor but I think in order to get into that we'd need to do uh, 
two or three more videos, maybe one that covers the mechanical box aspect, one that maybe that covers uh, the 3D printed part, and maybe one that covers just the electronics. And basically the uh, entire spinning rotor, which I could show you in the other videos, is one 3D printed part, and then there's a uh, housing that the stepper motor sits in, which is 3D printed, and the belt pulley, which is 3D printed. So there's a couple 3D printed parts. If you plan on taking the stepper motor out of your 3D printer to build this, make sure you print the parts first. <laughs> Although stepper motors are dirt cheap, anywhere from eight bucks to 13 bucks for the uh, one that I used here on eBay, and you can probably find them for less uh, on AliExpress and places like that. So it doesn't cost a lot of money. Let's move the camera back again. Now what if you don't have the same orange crush amp you're thinking? Well, any amp that could sit in here so that its speaker sound would go down this hole could be set in here. So it could be a smaller amp. Or if it's a bigger amp, that's fine. It could sit on this uh, ridge. Normally the uh, speaker grill part is going to be wood everywhere except for where the speaker is. So even if you had a bigger ramp, this could still just sit on top there. The only uh, practice amps that I can see that might have a problem with this would be the ones that don't have the controls on the top. Some of them, like the fenders, have the controls along the front edge. So when you put the thing on there, it's going to be kind of hard to see and get to those controls. But if you don't touch those controls a lot, there's no reason you couldn't preset it, set it there, and just use it. Okay, like I say, it's just a matter of taking the amplifier design, this box for this particular amp, just to set right in there. And that's all there is to it. So if it's something that'll interest you, I need to see uh, enough comments below or thumbs up to know that it's worth my time to shoot the video, the build videos basically, since it'd be rather time consuming.